Hey, welcome back everybody. Well, today we're gonna to be making another ocean salmon run. As usual, we're gonna leave out of Hammond, Oregon, go down the Columbia River, cross the bar. Then we're gonna head southwest for about seven miles or so. The fishing's supposed to be red hot, so stay tuned. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We left Hammond and headed down the river. The bar was a little choppy, but straightforward this morning. We headed southwest. It was easy to tell where the fleet was. We were surrounded by what seemed like a thousand of our closest friends. I was a bit apprehensive. A lot of boats in a small area doesn't always mean great fishing. But considering Sosa almost had his rod ripped out of his hands in the first few minutes, things were looking up. Oh, 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 that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. It's a good one. It's a good thing you didn't drop the rod. Yeah. <laughs> he was a deep thing. I kind of forgot about the beginner's luck factor, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I just thought you guys catch two fish and then go home. You catch so many. Yeah, you're done. You can go home I'm now, done. right? Yeah, we'll take you back to the dock and we'll come back out. Oh, yeah. That's how... uh... oh, oh, Did you get it your way? Oh, reel, 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 and lift. Oh. That's a Chinook. That's a Chinook. Oh, is that good? They stay closer to shore. The coho go way out in the ocean. I see. Like a lot of these coho are coming from as far away as like Japan. Oh. Yeah, they really oh, migrate. There you go. All right, tuna blood it is. Well, the tuna blood will lower. Hey, anyway. Yeah, that's a nicer fish. It looks like. Maybe. Oh, oh, maybe not. For which way? Yeah. A lot of boats. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Yell at me when you need me, Dad. The action was consistent, but we were catching a bunch of native fish. The difference between a native and a hatchery fish is that the hatchery fish has a clipped adipose fin in the back. The regulations for this time of year in our zone was hatchery coho only, and they had to be at least 16 inches in length. the rubber bands yet? <laughs> oh, it, they're coming. Oh, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Yep. Ooh, nice. It's a nicer coho, too. Yeah, it's a good looking coho. It's a coho. Now, I've said it before, the ocean's a pretty big pond. We were catching a lot of natives, and it was time to make a move. Fortunately, we had a buddy boat out there that was telling us about a bite that was going on about seven miles northeast of us. So we packed up our gear and made the move. Us or no, no, it's, it's just uh, it's the green cans. It's just uh, more north. Oh, okay. We got it. Yeah. We may want to make a move. Yeah. When we got out to the new area, we deployed our gear near a large rip. 
A rip can be defined as an area where opposing currents meet. Fishing near rips can be really productive, but can also cause issues. But we found a nice track along the side of the rip and hooked up a double almost immediately. How we doing, Dan? Swap with me, Sosa? Yep. Sam and Newbie on board with us during this trip. And it was great to see him getting a work out. There he comes. Nice. That's a keeper. That's a good one. Wow, look at the screen. Yeah. That's a Just, good Yeah. How deep is that bad boy? That is 30, I don't know, 30. I got a fish on. Yep. What'd you go down to? 72. Fishing was definitely hot. The rods were going off every few minutes and the grade of fish was getting better. Yeah. Cool. Right, go ahead. When's the last time you landed on? Oh, uh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep that on the copy. There you go, Dan. Hey, go ahead, Sosa, go ahead. One you could put in an aquarium. <laughs> oh, easy. yeah. And the, and the other fish would have eaten it. <laughs> yep. A lot bigger than your last one. Yep. All right, there you go. You deal with it. I got it. I got it. Now here's Dave. He just put his gear in the water. Open wide, open wide. Let it go. This has been smashed three times since I put it out. And then he's holding on to the rod, knowing he's about to get hit by a salmon. Yeah, there you go. Sure are. If you mix in with some of the with the. Now that's you know, awesome you know, fishing. Got we got one silver left. Do you want to go for coho? I mean, no, in. I mean, we have one tag left. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, why not? I, I just dropped mine deep. Okay. What did you go to? Eighty-two. Okay. Now the regulations during this trip was that each person on board could have two salmon, but only one of those salmon can be a Chinook. At this point, we had five coho on board. 
and we decided to leave our last slot open and specifically look for Chinook. Now we were seeing some pretty big marks on the fish finder, so all three rods dropped down a little bit deeper and we slowed down the troll. I think this has a little fish. I think. Huh? This might have a little a small fish. Think so? Yeah, I got it. I know. Really? I didn't ever even start going off. Hey, hey, see? Hey, I have a fish. Yeah. Alright. Oh, have. here we go. Good. Good 82? Yeah. yeah. It, it could only be a Chinook dam. How's it feel? Mine is heavy. Yeah. Yours is always heavy. Yeah. <laughs> the lead is heavy. The lead is heavy. <laughs> yeah, mine's coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Perfect knew. for the aquarium at home. All right, get out of my way with that thing. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's because it's too small. Oh, you got away, that's good. I'm at eight feet. You need a net, Dan? Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, I don't no, think so. No, it's a little one. Jeez. What the hell, we got, we got, we got trout. We spent the next 30 minutes or so releasing coho looking for Chinook. We finally hooked a coho that was just too good to pass up. That's a nice fish. That's a shame to throw that one back. A little slack. Well, I hope you enjoyed this trip. Our next video is going to be an epic albacore tuna trip that I can't wait to finish editing. I also want to thank everyone for helping to grow this channel. Be sure to leave your comments and suggestions, and as always, if you hear me out in the water, say hi. Tight lines.